Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. Let's talk about the best lip products I tried this year. Oh man, I tried so many, about 130. I have an actual list that I keep of all of the products that I tried the year. Man, man there are so many here, there are so many here. Now here's where I'm gonna tell you, I have been continuing to purchase lip products. There are some that I haven't had long enough to feel like it should make it into the best or the worst. Uh, ones that I picked up kind of like from mid-November on, so they're not gonna be in here. But there are some fanta fantastic lip products. Another thing you need to know about me, I have a very specific type of product that I like. I like a product that is gonna impart hydration. I like a product that is not gonna make my lips look dry. I want something, this was also the year of lip oils, lip glosses, and I've never been kind of like a glossy lip person, but I kind of fell in love with a certain type of product, a lip oil, lip gloss hybrid, and man, I have been going hard for those types of products this year. I also kind of hit my bougie era. I'm in an era of buying expensive luxury, lipsticks and there are some here that are just so good all right let me jump into it i don't know if you can still get this but if you can and it's your favorite keep that in mind my favorite lip balm okay normally i am not a fan of the reformulated balm.com from glossier it had been my original holy grail but they brought back the original formula with lanolin and with beeswax for the holidays in two flavors, in the cookie butter and in hot cocoa. Man, they also repackaged it. Mine's ooby gooey, I've been in it so much. Um, but they have the larger caps on them and then they have the slant tip applicator and not that I need more lip product, but I'm just gonna put some on, hang on a sec. I didn't need any more lip product, but I love this so much. This smells like hot chocolate. I really like it. If you liked last year's Swiss Miss, this is the same formula, same color. Swiss Miss was a collaboration, so they didn't release another Swiss Miss, but it is the hot cocoa. Love this. I, I bought seven. I bought four of the Swiss Miss or hot chocolate, and I bought three of the cookie butter. Love, 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 love. Another lip balm that I like so much that I've been enjoying all year long is this one here from Make. Their lip mask made it into my worst products, but this is definitely, I'm almost at the bottom of the jar. I love this. This is their Pink Matter Multi Balm. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. I find that this is a little bit more heavy duty and occlusive than their lip mask, their lip reset. That's supposed to be like a sleeping mask. I, I like this one better. I feel like it's very hydrating. This is great. So when I get out of the shower in the morning and I'm doing my skincare, I put a thin layer of this on. This is amazing. I feel like for the 20 some odd dollar price, what, 24, $26, this is worth it. And I could see myself when I'm making another uh, purchase from Make Beauty repurchasing this if I run out. I don't know that I need it like right now, right now, because I'm up to my eyeballs and my favorite lip balm, but I was trying other lip balms as the year went on because they reformulated this one in January or February, and I didn't, I was like, oh, I have to find something new. So I tried this. I really like this pink matter. This is nice. All right, another product from Make that I like so much. I liked it so much, I got another one. So I started out the year with this. This is their Serum Balm Intense. Okay, this is a very tinted, this was kind of what started me down that road of glossy, hydrating lip. This is not a lip oil. This is a lip serum. This is the shade Anti-Gravity, but I love how pigmented it is. This is beautiful. If you want a non-pigmented version, I do have a mini of their regular lip serum. This is kind of like they have sheer tints to them. There's really not a lot. Like you can see like there is something here glossy, but it's the same formula. One is really pigmented and I like this so much. I had to get another one. This one here is the shade Mystic Mauve. I think it is Magnetic Mauve, <laughs> but I wanted a cool toned version of this lip product. Look, look, these are just glowy, glossy. They stay on my lips, they hydrate. Last year in January, when it was the coldest, it was gonna be all year long. I was living in these products. I went almost through my entire tube of anti-gravity. 
I think I need another one. You can see through the window here that it has been very, very well loved. That's a fabulous kind of glossy, but very cushiony. It's like wrapping your lips in hydrating bubble wrap. It has a beautiful lip feel. It doesn't sink into the corners. It doesn't string and pull. It doesn't stick to itself. It doesn't commit any cardinal sins and just makes your lips look better. That's what I'm looking for. All right, here is another lip balm. <laughs> Okay, this one is from NARS. These aren't new. Um, this is the shade Laguna. This is just their regular like lip balm, but I love how it's kind of like a sheer tint. It's just the barest whisper. Now, you can get this in the shade Orgasm. You can get this in a ton of different shades. I like, I've been having like a brown moment. And this shade in Laguna is so pretty. It's just a little bit, it's not a lot. It has a little bit of a shine, but it's not glossy. This is gonna impart a really beautiful moisture. It's not gonna be heavy or sticky on the lips. It's gonna keep your lips feeling moisturized. This is for the person who wants a kind of quote unquote basic lip balm or almost kind of like slightly tinted chapstick sort of situation, but in like super elegant packaging. This delivers on every level. I really love this product. I mean, it's shiny, but it's not too shiny. Um, it's got a little bit of color, it's not too much. It's the perfect sort of lip product for like a really heavy eye or a day when you want like a no makeup makeup look, but you don't want your lips to look dry and crusty. Love. I'm gonna move on to lip oils, but lip oils, there's one lip gloss. There's only one lip gloss, I'll share it with you. This guy, I am almost, almost out. The applicator, you can see it's like right here. It doesn't even touch the product at the bottom. It's not even in there anymore. This is from Lala's. This is the Forget the Filler. When I pull it out, there's only product on the very like edge of the doe foot. This is the shade Cherry Vanilla. Oh my goodness. I know so many people love this Forget the Filler lip gloss. I picked this up in spring and I plowed through it. I need to take the stopper out, get the rest of it out. I think that this is, first of all, one of those lip glosses that makes sense if you're a lip gloss person. Sometimes if you're not a lip gloss person, why would you spend this amount of money? Because this is kind of expensive for lip gloss. A couple of things, let me just point these out to you. First of all, the doe foot here, it has a little scoop, so it kind of hugs your lips. Um, it also has an, a lot of nice flocking on it. It's very comfortable to apply. And this really does give you that glass shine sort of look. You have to be careful that you don't over apply. This is one of those that if you over apply at all, it gets really heavy uh, because it's supposed to kind of like make your lips look perfectly smooth and it'll do that. But if you put too much on, it'll get heavy and sink into the corners and string and pull, which is one of the cardinal sins I cannot abide from a gloss. But weirdly enough, this does that if I'm not careful and I over apply. But I kind of don't care because it's so good. Crazy hydrating, very nourishing on the lips. Um, I feel like a similar formula from the drugstore is the one from CoverGirl, the Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss. But I just like this one more. And this shade here in Cherry Vanilla, I was gonna get another one during um, the Sephora sale in the fall, and I just, I forgot about it. But this is really, like, I couldn't believe how quickly I burned through it, like in less than two months. And with as many, like 130 new lip products this year, if I finished one, you know I liked it. Here's one I'm surprised I haven't finished. I was obsessed with this. This is the Clarins Lip Oil in the shade Chocolate. This was my favorite lip product all summer long. Oh my goodness. And out of all of them, this is the one that is most like an oil. A lot of the other ones that I have here for you that are lip oils have more of a gloss oil hybrid. This definitely feels like a lip oil. It's very lightweight. It does kind of have like an oil feel to it, but there's some tenacity. There's some beautiful shine with this. The one thing I like about this, the doe foot is the best doe foot out of every single lip gloss, um, lip oil, anything. This Clarins, like the doe foot, mwah. everything should aspire to be as amazing as this, where the velvet on there, the flocking is really nice and soft. Um, the doe foot is big and chubby. It applies really easily. It's also flexible. It's not hard and rigid. Like every aspect of the application process with this is just what you want a luxury product to be. And at $29, I would expect that. I think I bought this when it was still $26, but prices have been creeping up. This is now close to 30. But I can see that like when I'm done with this, I'm halfway through when I'm done with chocolate, I can't be without it. That has been fabulous. Another one, 
if you have watched any of my lip videos all year, you'll know. I started, and I this is not a new product, but it was new to me this year. It was the Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oil. This is the first one that I got, and I'm down to like right here. This is the Raspberry Peach. And it, again, one of those really big juicy doe foot applicators. It has a really nice gloss and shine to it. This I would say, even though it's being listed as a lip oil, I feel this is more of like a gloss oil hybrid. I liked it so much that this fall when they came out with, I guess it was late summer, when they came out with nudes, I bought one. This is my second tube, because I finished the other one, of the Blackberry Agave. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm ob ob obsessed with this, obsessed. Like, it's like the perfect, it's not really a berry, it's not really a brown, it's so fabulous. And then around Thanksgiving or pre-Thanksgiving when they came out with a holiday shade called Cranberry, I'm already halfway through. I have been using these guys so much, so much. I can't, I can't stop myself. Um, this is kind of taken over my love and I still do really love it. I have a huge love affair with the Beauty Pie Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oils. I mean, come on, you can see it. Like I go through them. I have multiple tubes of this and I feel like because I have to place a Beauty Pie order to get these and these are $14 a piece, I can pick these up for what, 11, 12. If I can get them on sale, they're even less. They're about the same like volume in each one. These are really, they're easier to come by and get them at the grocery store. I can get them, you know, at the drug store. I can get them from Ulta. So there's various places for me to get this. I love this. And I feel like this lip gloss kind of hybrid, lip oil hybrid, these are beautiful and they're worth all the hype, especially the new nude shades, so good. All right, here's another one. These were new launches this year. These are so good. These are the Glow Reviver Lip Oils from e.l.f. All right, I have two shades. These, okay, these are $8, $8. Again, a super chubby doe foot, and I feel like out of all the doe foots that I've tried, this is the one that comes the closest to the one from Clarence. Now, is it as soft and like a little kitten's paw? Is the flocking and the velvet on here as nice as the other one? No, but it does have a really nice sort of um, soft, uh, feel to it. It does have a little bit, it's not rigid. Some are really hard and rigid and it feels like, oh, I'm scraping plastic over my lips. This is actually very high end. I do like that you get the touch of like the debossing here from e.l.f. Um, I feel like the square packaging, they're kind of going for a Dior lip oil. And I've never tried the Dior, so I don't know, because I think it's pH adjusting and I'm not a pH kind of girly, but these are great. I started out with this. This is the deepest shade in jam session and I liked it so much. I picked up the other one in Red Delicious. This right here is jam session. Here is Red Delicious. I feel like they have a beautiful gloss aspect to them. These are the sort that you can apply with Wild Abandon. I don't find that they puddle, they don't string and pull, they don't uh, settle, like the pigment doesn't settle into the lines and bring more of an obvious look to that. Um, they do keep me hydrated. I really, really like this formula so, so much. I just wiped off what I had on. Like, I feel like if you're looking for an affordable but beautiful lip formula and you like a glossy, glowy lip, you would really like these. The other thing that's nice about these is you're getting 0.25 ounces for $8. That's a quarter of an ounce for $8. These guys are like $12, $11.99, and you're getting, I think these are 0.13. I think you're getting almost double in here. Double of 0.13 would be 0.26, these are 0.25 but the price, the price difference. So it's easier to finish one of these because there's less product in here. These are gonna last you a little bit longer. I feel like they're beautiful and a great find at the drugstore. All right, we're done with all of the glosses, the lip balms, uh, the lip oils, but I really have been going hard for that category this year. Normally I'm a full pigment lip sort of person and somehow this year I just really fell into that. I want it to be lightweight. I want it to be glossy. I want it to be hydrating. I've really, really fallen for that sort of product. Another type of product that I have a really soft spot in my heart, and I've had a soft spot in my heart for a long, long time, is a kind of glossy, sheer-ish lipstick. One that is hydrating, one that is nourishing, one that is maybe more balm-like and less lipstick-like. And I discovered these this year. These are the Roman Glasting Melting Balms. These are beautiful. 
So I have three shades. So this right here is uh, Nougat Sand. This is Hippie Berry. And this right here is Kaya Fig. Um, this is a little bit browner. This is a little bit more mauve. You can tell more on the lip. Um, but these are a kind of thick, kind of really hydrating lip formula. They're glossy, but they are not so unstable that they kind of fall apart. They don't smush down, but they're very melty. The minute the warmth of your lip hits them, they start to kind of melt on the lip, but not in an unattractive way. But I like that you can roll these up and roll these down. A lot of times, products that are this soft and this glossy, kind of that gloss in stick form, only roll up. Um, and I'm thinking of things like the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip, but those are much softer. I tend to prefer something that has a little bit more heft to it, that tends to really be more, have more of an occlusive layer. These are great because they are kind of sheer, they are glossy, but they're also super nourishing and they hang tight. They don't need to be reapplied and reapplied and reapplied. This is one that I recently tried and I'm so impressed with and I want more. It's from Moira. This is their signature lipstick. This very much, even though it has more pigment to it, performs very much like these guys. It's a glossy, really hydrating formula. This definitely has a kind of more lipstick feel and it's less kind of balm-like, but this is beautiful. But this kind of reminds me of that kind of, you know, kind of glossy, really shiny lipstick. I have really been liking this. Another one that falls into that category and I got one and I liked it so much, I picked up more. So this is the YSL Candy Glaze. Okay, look, at mine's all oud and gooed up. I have been using this non-stop. This is shade number 15, but this is, again, one of those products that is glossy, that is sheer, but it looks like lip gloss. It's kind of like a lip gloss stick. I like this so much that during Black Friday when YSL was having a 35% off, I bought two more. So now I have three of these. Okay, I did end up getting the clear one in 02. It's right here. It is the prettiest, glowiest, looks like almost nothing on your lips, just like your lips. And it is literally your lips, but hydrated because there's no color to it, but it's shiny and it looks so pretty and effortless. If you want that effortless it girl, the YSL and O2, the Candy Glaze is so great. I did pick up the shade 04. I thought it was gonna be just a little bit, um, not quite as brownie brown as it is, but it's so pretty. This is the shade 04, as you can see, it's definitely, this is more of kind of like a rosy nude and this is like a brown brown, but this is really pretty. Um, this one was very melty, but I have liked these so much. I would say, if you can, wait till you can find them on sale because is this definitely a bougie lipstick? Yeah, and it's more like a gloss and stick form, um, but I could see myself burning through this, especially shade 15 right here. This is gonna be like a constant repurchase. I like this one, but I don't know that I like this shade as much as I like this. I'm gonna burn through the clear, I'm gonna burn through shade number 15. I do like shade number four, but it's a little, it's very much a look and it's a little bit warmer than I'm used to wearing. But this formula, like the component is heavy. I like the silver with the hot pink. Love this, love, love, love. This next product, another one that I like so much, I got a second one. I took off the little charms. These usually have a little charm that goes through this loop here, but these are the jelly stains from Kaja. All right, so the first one I tried out was the one in Fig Soda. These are gonna stain my hands, just, just be aware. So pretty, they're glossy and they're very comfortable and hydrating. And I liked it so much, I got the one in, oh, what is it? Something Cola. But look, they're glossy, they're shiny. I don't wanna do a big swatch because it is gonna stain my hand and I'm gonna wipe it off right now. But they are like a glossy lip product that leaves a stain on your lips. I can reapply, reapply, reapply. And if you always wanted to get that rare lip oil, the Rare Beauty lip oil that launched the beginning of this year that they could not keep in stock, this is like the exact same type of formula, only I like these colors better. The other ones were so pink. I like the more mauve in um, this fig shade. And um, this cola shade had a really nice brown to it. And after the, my lips got enough staining on them, I didn't want to keep reapplying because it does make it dark every time I would just throw something clear on the top like the candy glaze or one of these lip oils that's not really heavy that would impart shine I was going to show you a swatch but these 
these were a surprise to me because they have like a little like a key chain sort of charm with a heart at the end and there's glitter that floats around in there it looked very like claire's sort of makeup but the formula is so good and i do like them so much more since i took the charms off but these were fantastic this year let's talk about some formulas that i tried for the first time last year that i liked so much i had to buy more this year Okay, I'm gonna start out with these guys right here. These are from YSL. These are the bold lipsticks. All right, the first one I got was the shade 01 and it's their bright like YSL red, which I loved. And then for National Lipstick Day, they were buy one, get one. And I was like, yes, please. So I ordered two more and I, I love these. First of all, one swipe is the most pigment ever. This is the shade um, number 10. And this one I think is called Brazen Nude. The other one that I got is kind of the one that I wore all summer long. Oh my goodness. And these are full pigment, that's one swipe, full pigment lipsticks. This right here is more of like a pinky nude. This is the shade 1968. Um, this is a beautiful formula. What I like about this is that one swipe, you get full pigment. Um, these are hydrating, but these are also, they have a, some shine to them, but they're not like the same sort of a glossy shine like you would get out of the candy glaze or any of the lip oils. They're a shiny kind of a satin formula lipstick, but they have so much pigment in there. You don't have to keep going over and over. The other thing that's great, these do not migrate into all those fine lines. I can wear these without a lip liner. <laughs> I don't know. I'm uh, 49 in January <laughs> and I don't know what it is about this formula, I can wear the red. I can wear both of these shades here, kind of like more of a warm nude and uh, this kind of pinky nude. They do not require a lip liner. I don't know what sort of YSL magic that is, but I liked the red so much, I had to get these. All right, so in 2022, I tried these Merit lipsticks for the first time. And I like them so much that I picked up more shades this year. Um, one of the ones that, man, they should just, Keep this in their regular. This was a limited edition shade, I'm sorry. Um, this is the shade Aperitif. This is the sort of lipstick that I love to wear. It's a red. The other reds are not really reds, they're more like berry tones or more kind of orangey leaning because I do have their red that's orangey leaning called Cabo and it's orange. <laughs> and then they have the shade Tiger, which to me definitely looks more, not really red, but more like a berry tone. But this shade here in Aperitif was a limited edition shade for last holiday, holiday 2022, but they re-released it this summer. And when they did, I was like, I need. Picked it up, love it. I've worn it so much this year. The other shade that I finally broke down and got, I have really been in a brown lipstick mood, and this is the shade 1990. Okay, this is everything my like college girl brown lipstick needed in the 90s. They didn't make shades like this. I love this. My favorite thing about these formulas is, first of all, they're hydrating and you can shear them out. And when they get sheared out, they are so pretty. They, they have a little bit of shine, but they're not glossy. They're not completely matte. They don't end up leaving like that weird rim around the lips where like all of the color in the middle is gone. You can reapply it over itself easily. These are what I like to call a low maintenance lipstick. I love this formula from Merit, their signature lip, lip lightweight lipstick. And this I think makes five that I have. They only have eight shades total and I have like more than half of them. They're beautiful. They're worth their $26. This to me is $26 well spent if you love a bullet lipstick. And these are really like a low fuss, low maintenance, good colors. Almost anyone can wear them. And the packaging is also like super pretty. I just think these are beautiful lip products. All right, another formula that I tried for the first time last year, but I liked so much. I bought five more. <laughs> these are from M. These are the soft spoken velvet lip creams. Okay, so this is what they replaced their infinite lip cloud with. Um, this is a really pretty kind of whipped lip product. Um, this right here is one of my favorite shades. I was wanting, dying, I want a red, I want a red. And they came out with a shade in Flirt Love. The one that I probably have worn the most is this one. This one is a beautiful mauve tone. This one's called Hush and it's my lips, but better. 
I love this formula so much. This is one of those that even though it is a matte product, it is hydrating. I don't know how that is. And in the dead of winter, I can put this on over lips that are slightly chapped and a little flaky. And this kind of smooths out all of those flaky bits. It kind of lays them down on my lips and it, it they don't end up getting flakier. This is one of those lip products that like sometimes if my lips are dry and angry, I need like nothing but pure balm. Like give me this, this'll heal them. No, 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 no. I can put a lip color over there and it, the color doesn't get stuck in all the craggly dry bits. It kind of just kind of smooths everything out. I don't know, it's weird. There is some sort of like magic going on with this formula. These plus the other two that I have means I have seven shades of this formula. I really, I really like it. The only one that I feel like I probably was not for me, and it's not, I wanted to love it, and I do use it, but I don't use it as much, is this one here. This one's Wednesday. This would look beautiful on someone with richer skin. Um, on me, it's very much like a vampy lip. It's like, okay, Morticia Adams. <laughs> I feel like I'm having my goth moment, but this formula is fantastic. It's nourishing, it's hydrating, it's beautiful, it's matte. You can blur it out if you like, like, Come on, soft and blurred out. These are so beautiful. They are so lovely. These are worth your time if you haven't tried them. They're so good. Again, one of those products that I liked it so much last year, I had to buy more this year. With all of my beautiful lipsticks sitting out here, I did. I had to change my lip gloss again. All right, I just put on the YSL Candy Glaze in shade number 15. Man, I, with all of my pretties just sitting here on the table, like, I'm like, oh, I love that one. Oh, I love that one. It's like, don't be surprised if I end up this video in a different lipstick altogether. <laughs> All right, let me tell you what I have left for you, with the exception of one lip product, everything else is like kind of like my high end slash luxury faves for this year. All right, man, there are some be beautiful lipsticks here that just made me go, oh, yeah. And I have really kind of been in my era of luxury lipsticks. I, I want to try so many formulas that I've never tried. I'm giving myself permission to try them so that I can be your guinea pig and tell you yes to this, no to that. Um, and and I'm, I'm working on a luxury lipstick video. It's going to be a while. I still have some more testing to do, some other lipsticks I want to order. But I feel like the luxury lipstick kind of area is constantly new stuff is coming in all the time. It's really hard to keep up with it. I'm not a luxury makeup channel, but there's so much stuff that just kind of calls to that part of me that loves the, the beautiful for beautiful sake things in life. All right, let's get into these lipsticks. Here's the one lipstick that performs like a luxury lipstick and reminds me of a luxury lipstick, but is not. And I don't know if they're, I wish, and here's hoping that they keep this or after the holiday, because this came out as a holiday special from Beauty Pie. This is their Lip Stilo, and this is the shade Rougie. Oh my goodness, this definitely gives me, that's one swipe, look at the pigment on that. This gives me um, kind of like Hourglass Confession Slim lipstick vibes, because it is in really skinny packaging like this. It does come with a matching lip liner, but I don't, I didn't want to talk about lip liners. There's too many lip liners that I bought this year, but this lipstick here perf performs like a high end luxury lipstick. This color is beautiful. The formula is beautiful. It makes my older, more mature lined lips look smashing. Not all lipsticks still look good on my lips these days. This one, Hello. So I'm hoping that they keep this Stilo formula. Right now they have the Red Duo, the liner, and this lipstick in Rouge for holiday. They also have a nude version with this sort of you know slim Stilo packaging and a accompanying liner. I would love to see them keep this formula of lipstick and come out with a whole bunch more shades because this reminds me of those hourglass um, lipsticks that come in this packaging. They do. It, I mean, they really look the same. They have that little teeny tiny, you know, it, it looks it looks so similar. Uh, the applicator, of course, is different, but man, this is fantastic. And it's 20 bucks for the lip liner and that. 
I started this spring trying more luxury lipsticks and one of the ones that I had a lot of people recommend to me, I was complaining about the Dior, um, the transfer proof, their matte formula, like, no, 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 don't try that. Try the Dior Velvet formula. I was like, okay. So I did. This is the one that I got this spring and I fell in love with. This is shade 100. This is the most beautiful kind of soft beigey nude but do you see how there's like it's so matte it's so matte this is the perfect lipstick for the days when you've got a really heavy eye look on or the days that you want to look like you have some color but not too much this doesn't completely like give me concealer lips but it's one step away from that where i'm not like blanking out my lips like the early 2000s but this is just, just beautiful. And I liked this so much, I decided, you know, me and a red lipstick, I had to get the Velvet Formula in the shade 999. So I love this shade in 999. I like that it's, this one here is a little bit cooler of a red. This one here is a little bit warmer of a red, but it's this soft kind of velvety texture. It is so beautiful. This is beautiful when it's blurred with your finger. It's beautiful when it's piled on straight from the bullet. It has, and both of these are very matte, and sometimes matte lipsticks can have that sort of feeling on the lip where they tug and they skip and they kind of, are dry. These are not dry. These feel like a cream lipstick, but they're not cream. They're matte. They are stunning. I really like this velvet formula from Dior. These are beautiful lipsticks. I think they're well worth their $45 price. Other ones that are $45, I tried this. This is the Lip Power from Armani. Look at that, that is one swipe. This is the cream version. This year they came out with a matte version. I did not see good reviews of the mattes. Maybe, maybe I was watching the wrong people. So I didn't buy any, but I tried this formula for the first time this year and I love this Lip Power formula. This cream version that they came out with, this is the shade 109. This is a beautiful kind of nude with a slight pink lean to it. I like the shape of this because the shape of it really helps to kind of carve out my cupid's bow. This is another one that although it is, it's got a little bit of shine to it. It's a creamy lipstick. It goes on, it glides, it's beautiful. It's hydrating, it's comfortable to wear for hours at a time. Um, it doesn't dry my lips out. This is one that does not budge. I don't find that it finds all of the fine lines and whoop, go everywhere. This one stays where you put it. I love that about it. I want a red in this formula. I've been telling myself I'm buying too much red lipstick this year, so I couldn't in good conscience buy one, but I want this lip power in red. But this formula is fantastic. I picked up one of the satin Gucci lipsticks this year. This is a red, and this is a beautiful, this is Odalie red, a beautiful, shiny satin very much similar tone we've got kind of more of the tomato red going here but this is not glossy but it's also this is not matte it's not matte like this this odaly red is beautiful i wore this in the summertime oh oh my god oh my goodness i love it i feel like this gucci lipstick is the type of lipstick that i like the most it is first of all hydrating. It feels good. It has a really nice mouth feel on it. It's not too slippy. It's not too dry. It has a very comfortable feel on the lips. It lasts for a good four plus hours. It lasts through snacks and beverages. It does transfer because come on, she's a bullet lipstick. But I really like this. I feel like it has pigment without being too pigmented. You could like tap it on and rub it out with your finger and it would look great. You could like swipe it on the lower press your lips together and kind of shear it out. And it, I mean, any way you do it, you can apply it straight from the bullet multiple times over itself. This looks great any way you apply it. I really feel like the satin formula from Gucci is really beautiful. I have matte lipsticks from Gucci. I have the Voile Sheer lipstick from Gucci. I do have one of the, kind of is it the Karen Glow? Anyway, it's really tall and skinny and much more glossy. I feel like out of all the formulas that I've tried, this satin formula is my favorite. And Look at the, the etching on this. It's very deco, art deco. I mean, come on, the engraved lipstick tube. If this doesn't give you vintage lipstick vibes, I don't know it would, but this lipstick was fabulous. All right, I tried this Victoria Beckham Posh lipstick. Oh, so good. I got the shade Pop. It makes me want one of the nudes. I know Victoria's not known for a red lip. She's definitely known for a nude lip, 
but this was one of the best red lipsticks I tried this year. First of all, I love the packaging, this tortoise shell, and how nice and tight the cap fits and snaps on. That's something beautiful. Also that it's a smaller overall so that you can get precision with a really bright color. Um, this is another one of those that feels kind of like a low maintenance lipstick to me. I know it has a little bit of shine to it, super comfortable. I definitely wanna try one of the nudes, but this shade in pop was like, Everything I was hoping a Victoria Beckham lipstick would be, and then some. Beautiful packaging, beautiful application, wore well, was hydrating, and the perfect kind of neutrally shade of red. It's not quite as cool as this one. It's not quite as warm as these guys. This is kind of the red that goes with anything, and I really, really love that. This is probably the most expensive lipstick I purchased this year. This was $55. This is from Chanel. This is the Rouge Allure Extract Lipstick. Okay, good part is, guess what? She's refillable. I should hope so at that $55 price point. Um, I like this color. So here it is, this is Rose Independent. This lipstick, I fell in love with this lipstick. I wore this on Thanksgiving Day. So Thanksgiving Day, I was in the kitchen all morning and early afternoon. And then I sat down and had a meal with my family and I was expecting my lipstick to be kind of like eh, everywhere, okay? <laughs> um, it There was a lot of eating that day. This hung tight. This was a really beautiful formula to wear on a day when there was a lot, of, a lot to do. First of all, very hydrating. I feel like this um, kind of extract formula, this lipstick formula that is, it's very hydrating, it's very smoothing. It made my lips look better than they are. It didn't make them look terribly lined. Um, it stayed within my lip lines. I didn't find that it was kind of finding all of those fine lines and going places and I did not wear a lip liner with this. I loved that about it. The other thing that I liked is that this shade right here um, in Rose Independent was very flattering. It wasn't really pink. It wasn't really kind of like, coral it was kind of somewhere in that kind of slightly warm pinky range i guess you could call it like a warm pink it's so pretty but it, it it looked more like a statement like a bold lip than a than like a nude would but it wasn't quite really a red it was fabulous i love this lipstick the other thing that's so great is when you put this on it just kind of like as you're applying it it is it, gl it glides this is one of the glidiest lipsticks that i own and i love that about it but at $55, she better be all that in a bag of chips. And I really feel like this lipstick doesn't just deliver on um, like the way that it wears, the perfect color for me. Um, it also has really lovely packaging where you press those interlocking C's on the bottom and it comes out. I like that it's refillable. I do feel like this is a really lovely, lovely lipstick, but at that price, better be. All right, the last one that I wanted to share with you, and this one, okay, I have mixed feelings about it, but I feel like there's enough good here that it should land in the best as opposed to someplace else. It's this. All right, these are the Valentino lipsticks. I got a lip set, and it was definitely one of the holiday things that they had where you bought, you know, one case that came with a bullet in it. And then it also came with two refills because this is a refillable lipstick. So you can swap the other colors out. I had never, ever tried a Valentino lipstick until this year, this fall. And this shade here, this is Roman Grace. I was like, I don't like that shade of pink. Guess who uses it like a lip balm? This is like my new favorite chapstick. Love this. This is the satin formula from Valentino. This is beautiful. Absolutely head over heels. The other satin formula that they give you in this set is shade 22R. This is Valentino Rosso. It's like their classic Valentino shade. It's definitely a cooler red. It's not as warm as this, but I, I put this on and the video where I'm trying it on, I'm like, oh, oh. like I was, I was speechless. I was a gobsmacked. I, it was the most beautiful red lipstick. Like this is everything I'm wanting a red lipstick to be. Add to that this beautiful case. Like, I mean, come on. It's just stunning. I love it. And for $75 to get two lipsticks that I absolutely love. Yes. Now, the one thing I will tell you is I found out that it comes with a third lipstick and it's the matte formula. I really liked the color. The color is beautiful. 
I like the texture of the matte formula, but guess what? She broke. That's, that's the only thing. That's why I was like, I don't know, maybe not. But like the color, beautiful. The way it looks on the lips, it feels like when I was putting it on for the very first time, I was sure that that was the satin because this formula glides like a satin lipstick. It moisturizes my lips like a satin lipstick. The formula feels amazing. It also, even though it's matte, doesn't make my lips look dry. Some matte lipsticks do, after several hours, make my lips kind of look dry and slightly pruney and not their best, which is why I like kind of a more glossy look. But these two satin formulas here, this one here in Roman Grace and this one here in Valentino Rosso, the 22R. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Everything I could ever want out of a lipstick, this is it. These are normally $45. I do like that they, you can get a refill. So if you have one of the packages, you can interchange them. I find, I'm just gonna be honest, that when I have things like this, this is the only lipstick that I've been interchanging them with. Cause normally if I have refills, like I have refills for my House of Siage bow holders and whatever's in here lives in here and that's what I use. I am not one to swap things out. Usually that's not the sort of person I am. I don't wanna take the extra step to do that but I love these lipsticks so much. I have been doing it, I have been, and I have really, really been liking this. So if you do get that set, I don't know if they still have it either at Valentino or at Sephora. It was a set that comes in a little red box. Let me show you. Comes in this little red case. Oh, it's so great because it has like a little mirror and it has a place to house like the lipstick as well as the lip refills. Like even this, like, I mean, come on, it's super cute and it has a little snap closure to it. Everything about this is sweet and wonderful and $75. I think it's a great price to try a luxury lipstick and you get three colors and two different formulas. I love that about it. I just am going to tell you, be mindful of that matte lipstick. And I don't know if it's all Valentino mattes or whether it's just this shade or maybe, you know, the kit that I got had a, I don't know. I don't know. So I put it in here like best of the year because I love two out of the three and I have been using one of them like, like literally like lip. <laughs> I love it so much. They're beautiful lipsticks. I feel like they're very, the quality is so good of those satin lipsticks. And I don't know whether the matte refill I got was defective, whether the matte refill, like the matte lipsticks in general tend to have a problem with breaking. I don't know. Or whether I dropped, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I did anything wrong to it. I don't remember dropping it or it being treated poorly or pressing hard. I normally don't have problems with my lipsticks breaking. That one obviously kind of came loose from the whole thing broke and is like, ah, ah. but I do like the formula. I do like the way it looks on the lips. I just don't like the fact that now I have this expensive lipstick that is kind of rattling around. So just keep that in mind if you're buying Valentina lipsticks, maybe opt more for the satin. That would be my advice. All right, thank you so much for watching. Boy, that was a lot of lip products, wasn't it? I would definitely love to know what sort of lip products are your favorite. Do you tend to go for more of a tinted lip balm? Are you more of a lip gloss, lip oil kind of person? Do you want kind of like a sheer balmy lipstick that doesn't have too much color, but just a little bit? Or are you kind of like, give me all the pigment? Let me know in the comment section down below. I will also link for you in the description box my worst lip products of the year. Man, there were some doozies in there. But let me know what sort of products you kind of default to and your favorites are and which ones you're perpetually reaching for. Thank you so, so much for watching today. Thank you for making the time to watch and share my channel with a friend. Have a fantastic day and I will see you again soon.